Y'all, this is cloud, Cla blues cloud nine. I'm gonna get it right here in a minute. This guy we have had for a very long time. I'm gonna let Stephanie go ahead and start climbing up on him. He is a five-year-old registered Tennessee Walker. He is almost black, a little lighter at the head and the neck, just like Legacy, black at the back with a solid silver tail. This guy is 15'3". He is a giant of a horse. If you can believe it or not, you know, there's trolls out there. I put pictures of him on at one point, and somebody told me to go feed my horse and quit doing anything else I was doing because he was starving to death. I'm telling you what, if that horse is starved, then, well, I'll give him any of my fat any day, but he is not starved. So, we're going to take him over the obstacle course. All right, we're going to show how Mr. Cloud side passes over for mounting from anything. Ain't that pretty. Ain't that pretty. Such a good boy. I love this guy. I took him on a 22 mile uh, trail ride last month for the, no, it was that end of September for the Bub Myers uh, Memorial, which was also uh, about my mom and dad and another man. And we go all the way to the cabin, the bullpen, and then back to camp. It's the last four miles of it, and don't think that I'm at all selling this guy as a beginner because he is not a beginner's horse. The last four miles of it, uh, a young boy that's 18 and looks about 15 was the fourth horse he had ever sat his butt on in his life, and he rode this horse back to camp. So, 18 miles in, and he is a complete and total deadhead. And he's never bad. He just has enough energy to intimidate a complete beginner. He doesn't rear, he doesn't buck, and he does not act stupid. He just has enough motor, and with that size, a complete beginner would be intimidated. But even a confident intermediate rider that knows the basics would love this guy. You're not going to go anywhere. People are not going to have drool coming out of their mouth looking at him. We're going to go hear him gate. All right, we're going to show you Cloud's walk. And Cloud does have a big walk on him. It is a little difficult for him to stay in the back sometimes, and that's not because he just refuses, because he will. But you'll have to check him sometimes because that is his walk. And he can cover some ground without you ever gating even one time. Of course, he's 15'3", he's long-legged. He has a beautiful walk on him, I think. I, I just don't do the quarter horse walk. My husband's horse could walk with a dead quarter horse, and I can't do that. All right, we're going to get him gating, coming back up. Here's what we pay the money for. Guys, he could do that all day long and never, ever, ever get tired. And he is so smooth. But wait till you see his canner. No surprise here, but here is Cloud in front of the cart. I can tell you the uh, feed them. They, they get turned in and out for feeding with the cart. They do things like that, they learn the cart is their friend. I'm not worried about it, but still some of them, when you come up behind them, it still freaks them out. It's like a horse coming up behind them makes them want to speed up their act up. But ours, the carts do not bother them at all. Get them down to the first creek. You see the dogs don't pay the same way. going down into the first creek we do this video of course to show you that they'll cross ditches and that they'll go through water but I also like to show this video because you, you may not see it but this is the horse walking away from the barn and doing it alone you know there's no other horse out here and a lot of them just don't like to leave the barn it shows an independent mind and confidence We've had horses before. We've literally had to bring another horse to get them to come away. And it's because they're so gentle. You know, sometimes we think to ourselves, we want a true bomb-proof deadhead. And those exist. And, um, and I've had them. But they're usually not independent-minded. You know, they're the kind of horse that 
you could get on and ride and it would fall you could fall asleep and wake up at camp as long as it's got a horse to follow but it's not going to do super well by itself you're going to kick it half to death trying to get it to go if you seem a little bit stumbly there it's because there is a crap ton of dead logs and pieces inside that creek it's not because he's stumbly and i've ridden him all over and he definitely isn't so that is the barn up there on the hill and as you look around the only thing else you see is us on a cart he's such a good boy yeah let me show you this as they're going down so you can see those logs that are in amongst the leaves and of course the horses can't see them because the leaves are so dense so we need to get out here and there's that log there he was going over they just can't see them i want you to just see how fancy this guy is going like I said, I ride him at Wranglers, and as we're leaving camp, everybody, oh, I love your horse. I love your horse. I, and they have called him everything from a blue roan to a black to a gray because they don't know what color he is. I've been asked what breed he is because they think he's just too big to be a Tennessee walker. But he has got that old plantation bred in him where he's got that gorgeous stride and the big bones. He doesn't have that super narrow chest. Little kids will come up. Can I pet your horse? He's so pretty. All right. We're going to get him going through this second creek, and then I'm going to show you that amazing canter. And here goes Cloud into the second creek. If you don't follow my videos we show this one just because we ride in southern illinois and in missouri um, really mountainous very rocky very rocky and if a horse is not used to that it can it can get you in some trouble so we try to take them places that mimics that best we can um, even here on the farm and at wranglers but we like to ride at southern illinois and missouri ourselves i've been both this year cross-country trail trail ride and we went to uh, southern illinois to the garden of the gods let me tell you that is rocky rocky as you can see right there he just didn't really want to stop but as soon as she checked him he did and he's going to stand still but he knows that's the way back to the barn so he's excited and he wants to go i show you this because i don't want you to think he's bomb proof but i also want you to see he's a hundred percent controllable this is not a hard horse to ride it's just a horse that if you were scared of anything it did He's going to intimidate you. So I want you to, to see both sides of it. I don't want to sell him as anything other than what he is 100%. doesn't need a hill or anything to canter that's just normally where we do it but let me tell you he can canter on flat ground practically in place and it is as smooth as silk here is cloud giving feet by the way he is standing here looking at the barn and she does have a rain on him but you can tell he ain't trying to go anywhere oh, she gonna drop that He is so easy to shoe, so easy to get feet from, when he's standing perfectly still anyway. Good boy. He's such a good boy. I love the sky almost well, and, and I can prove it because the lady came here, Stephanie, to look at Legacy because I almost sold him and kept this guy. And the only reason I didn't had nothing to do with this horse and, the, and his ride, it just has to do with his height. Legacy's 15'1", he's 15'3", and I'm 5'2", so <laughs> that was kind of a self-explanatory. He loads and he unloads perfectly, stands great for when you go to take a break. Um, I mean, he'll stand there with other horses, you don't have to do anything. So he's a really, really, really good trail horse. He'd also make a, a really good um, field trial horse. He's independently minded, he's happy to ride by himself um, or in a group in the woods or out. His price is 12.5. He is worth every penny, probably just in his weight and his color.